Hello everybody. Um, I know some people may think this is really extreme doing this, but I feel that I don't have any other choice because um, there's some things being drastically misunderstood, misinterpreted and all that kind of stuff and I really just want to do whatever I can because, you know, I'm trying to fight for the, the, the right to carry on, really. Um, and when I explain to people what I think is basically obvious um, and I get sort of upsetting, hurtful answers is that it must be due to misunderstanding because I keep asking myself, do I deserve what I'm going through? And and being told that, like, you know, you have to sort of do this on your own and only you can get better, and, and which I understand them saying, but if I provide you the context of that right now as I'm talking to you, the medication I've been taking for three months has not been working and actually has been affecting me. They've now ascertained that. So they have to slowly take me off that because I could have even more terrible side effects than I'm having now. And then I have to be in here a lot longer to, to try and get another medication that may stop me breaking down. And I have to keep having the willpower to beat this when I don't have any which last time I checked was the definition of needing support and needing care and I'm seriously ill to the point where I might not make it and because right now as I speak to you the doctors can't do anything because until that medication's done and they've ascertained that it's done absolutely nothing to help with my manic depression Nothing. And they have to take me off it and try something else. And when I talked to the doctors, having been in here a month and said, you know, you need every possible ounce of support you can get because we can't help you. And it's a medical thing that we need to stabilize you, but we don't know what works. So I'm sitting here in agony and in pain, losing weight rapidly fighting to carry on because of how much overwhelming pain I'm in. I get people, when I talk to them, who just say, Stephen, you need to get better on your own. And I've been fighting this for a whole year. And 95% of the time I'm awake, I think about giving up because that's what this does. And then people have the audacity to say you need to think of the positive things when there is what positives are they when I ask for help and say the only thing that's going to get me through this until they find out what helps me is through support and people encouraging me to carry on. And since I've been in here, very few people have said that I missed and that they miss me being in their life. All they want to say is how difficult it is to support me. Imagine how hard that is when I'm in a place where I am struggling to carry on. I can't walk out the door. I can't actually take anything to get me through this. And everyone says that it's just you have to do it for you. Now, how can I do it for me when I'm reminded of like, it feels like I deserve what's happening to me when I can't help it. It is not my fault. I have a biological thing that attacks me 95% of the day. So if you rang me at a random time of the day, then chances are you're going to get me when I'm in completely overwhelmed and fighting to beat this. And then if you get people who say, but the people who do care, you should be focusing on them. Yeah, 
I'm talking about the people who make me incredibly happy when I'm well and make me want to live my life, who I would have thought would have come to help me, who are running away. And imagine how difficult that is to take when I feel that the lines being crossed where you know, when people say they've got their own shit to deal with and but I've got my life to to, to beat to to try and save. And does that not matter? Because that's what's happening. You know, if I've got medical health professionals who know my condition more than any of you, and even myself who's experienced this my entire life, who tells me that there is nothing they can do right now. And you're just saying to me, it's a matter of willpower. It's a matter of you getting better when I've been fighting this for the whole of this year and getting nowhere, trying everything I could possibly think of. And I've got a bunch of 10 doctors and nurses in here who are trying everything they can to help me. And yet, by that definition, you're blaming me for not trying hard enough and blaming me for needing support when... There's no medical health thing that I can do, that the doctors can give me right now. There's nothing I can do to get out of it because it's a biological thing that's affecting me because the symptoms are too extreme. And you're just basically saying, pull myself together. And they're saying, you need all the support you can get to beat this. And then you get an answer of, Oh, well, you know, you've got people who care when my mom's been told not to come back because she is saying all of the wrong things. I have a brother who is an ostrich who puts his head in the sand. I've got a sister who's trying her best. And then I've got a couple of friends who I speak to when they can. But you've got to put it in a perspective of I'm in the right place physically but mentally, the world I care about and want to get back to is out there. In a place where I can't walk out. I can't walk out the door and say, hi guys, I'd like to see you. I need you to do that. And I need you to tell me that I matter. And that nobody through the whole time of being in here has told me that they miss me. And that just makes me feel terrible. Because I just think the lines being crossed where I am ridiculously ill and I need people to show that I matter more than you could possibly think. You know, people say, well, we visit when we can and all that kind of thing. And I'm like, it's beyond that. I want to ask you if this was a regular problem and I could just speak to someone on the phone and feel instantly better. Would I be in a position where I need help every single day by being in here? And it's one of these awful serious positions because of it being mental health is that the mental health team are like, it's 50-50. I need 50% professional help and 50% personal help. And I'm getting all the professional help I need, which means that the personal help from my friends and family and the people I love and care for think he's in the right place. Therefore, the personal help doesn't matter. And the personal help is everything. It motivates me, it keeps me going, it makes me realise that I matter, it makes me realise that even though the pain I'm going through, people feel it and understand it and empathise with me and want me to beat it. But having, Stephen, it's you and your fault and you need to try harder. I'm trying everything I possibly can. And I miss you all so greatly much. And I'm sorry for being angry and frustrated, but what would you do in my position? What would you do? You would go to the people who you think matter and say, look, I'm really struggling here. And this is not going to get any easier. And they all know this in here. But I haven't got the energy to turn to you and say, this is what's happening. I'm not even allowed to with certain people. But this is the truth. And there's no fucking blackmail. 
There's no blackmail whatsoever. And I'm and how is being demanded when if I was out of here and was wanting to see you, wanting to hang out with you, wouldn't it be ten times more amount of time I would ask for if I was well? I'm asking for ten times less to help me get through a very life-threatening, serious thing. And you think that's not relevant. You think that doesn't matter. When I'm going to the trouble of asking you, because I want you to, because you mean something to me. Now people say about pressure, how much pressure am I under to get better based on all the people saying to me, it's your fault and you should do more. When I ask you this, who, who knows me well enough, thinks I'm not motivated? If I was not having something that was affecting my entire body and my entire mental capacity. The reason I'm in here is because everything gets done for me. Yet I'm expected to do everything for everybody else outside of here as well as try and beat something I shouldn't be beaten. How does that make sense? And when I tell you that my condition means that more likely I'm not going to beat it. If I don't get any help. But you say, because I'm in the right place mentally, in me medically, sorry, is that I, that's it. That's all I need. I'm going to find the magic formula and yeah, everything's going to be fine. But right now, as I speak to you, there is nothing they can do. So what do you do when there's nothing you can do to help yourself and the people who you're going to professionally are saying you're going to have to play the long waiting game and I've been fighting this my entire life and this is overwhelming me the whole of this year. And I ask you, would I really ask this if I didn't need it? And am I, am I the world's greatest actor that, that I'm not needing what I'm asking for? Because are you seriously saying, if somebody, can, if people come to see me once every so often, outside of here, that that wouldn't be enough? Of course it would be. But this is a serious situation. Because if I tell you openly and honestly and brutally, that if I do not beat this while I'm in here, you may never see me again. And how do you think that makes me feel when I know that I may never see any of you again, outside of here? I don't even want to think about it. So why doesn't that response have, wow, we may never see Hesse again and he doesn't deserve what he's going through and he needs me in a small way. I'm not asking you to try for me. I'm asking you to support me and tell me that I matter. Because I'm in here 15 hours a day, awake, battling this 95% of the day negatively and I can't control it so does that mean everyone gives up because I can't beat it so does that mean all my friends and all the people who said that support me and love me no matter what who are running away is that my fault because that's what it feels like and I'm not being personal I'm being personal in the sense of I need you to support me as a friend, no matter who you are. Because every time I talk to the medical health team here, they say that's what I need. Because if you're running away from this, it reinforces the thing I have in my head that my brain tells me rightly or wrongly, but it's a fact that if I am getting people who I'm spending all my effort in who tell me that I'm so worth bothering about when I'm well, that when I get bad, they can't handle me and disappear. Or don't help me more than I, more, more, because I need it. It makes me not want to fight it. You're reinforcing what my brain's telling me that I can't control. And it's not a case of me going on a marathon and going, oh, my brain's got better. It doesn't happen.